Here's another video of a uh, Arduino controlled uh, freezer monitor. You can see on the display here, I'm displaying the current temperature inside the freezer. I hope you can see that. Uh, it's the current temperature inside the freezer. Uh, the cover you see is nothing but something but a ground fault circuit interrupter cover and a piece of plastic. Makes a nice look, I think. On the side here, I've got an audible alarm. That's a 110 volt alarm, and uh, it's pretty loud when it goes off. Let me go ahead and open this up. Inside, I've got quite a few items in here. It's a little busy inside the box here, but I have the display module. It's a liquid crystal display from uh, SparkFun.com. Got a 110 volt circuit. I've got a power supply from Adafruit.com that knocks the voltage down. There's the Arduino, and that's covered by a screw shield that I bought from Adafruit.com. It's a little bit different than the other one you've seen in the garage door video, but it allows me to use screw terminals to attach all the wiring. Got some screw terminals over here. Now I'm mixing 110 volts with the Arduino, so we have to be careful with that. I've got some fusing up here in the corner. This fuse uh, is for the 110 volt power supply, and this fuse is for the 110 volts that goes out to the alarm and the light. I'll show you the light here in just a second. Uh, I've got this set up so that if the current temperature inside the freezer goes above 10 degrees Fahrenheit, then the alarm will sound an, an audible alarm and a visual alarm outside a red light that I've got installed. Again, I'm using the uh, Radio Shack relay to drive a larger relay which makes the circuit for the audible alarm and the red light because the Arduino doesn't have enough power to handle those loads. As far as the temperature sensor goes, that's down inside the freezer. It's a temperature sensor that Adafruit.com sells. It just simply hangs in the, hangs in the unit here. And I've got it covered with some black shrink wrap. But it's, it's very accurate. I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I did have some problems with sampling. I'll just go ahead and show you the light while I explain that. Um, to get a more accurate reading, I take 100 samples. And here's the light I've installed out here. I take 100 samples and I average them. Sometimes when you work with analog values like temperatures, it helps to do that. It smooths the reading out. And uh, if the Arduino goes above 10 degrees, that red light out there will come on. Well, anyway, I sample those readings and uh, take 100 of them and average that and then display that value. And also, that value determines at what point the alarm will come on. Well, that's my Arduino controlled freezer monitor. And to date, it hasn't gone off other than when I've set it off by pulling the, uh, the uh, sensor out. I also have a timer in there that if my wife leaves the cover or if one of the children leaves the cover open while we're loading it or unloading it for, say, four or five minutes, it won't go off. It has to see that temperature differential for ten minutes, and once it sees that, then it'll set the alarm off. That way we don't get any nuisance faults. So if we have a power outage or something, uh, it should stay okay as long as the lid's left shut, but if the compressor were to go out and that temperature were to rise, then the alarm would definitely go off. The Arduino freezer monitor. Talk to you later.